Raubat Yassar. Welcome to another Patarak reading with the Supreme Grand Council of 24 Elders. Anuki Nith Sakemtet Satis M. Atun. Panishad will be read by Himnatir Tepi Aman. Rahben Yasar, Anuki Hemnatir Tepiamu, Panishad, Anuki Dakal Pa Ashak Im Pa Paut, U Kalal Ashak Kawan Dakali, Anuki Kasam Un Afaf Pa Paut, U Pa Paut Kawan Kasam Un Afafni, Anuki Wahu Ama Pa Paut, U Pa Paut Kawan Wahu Amani, Nukado Naju Ama Kasam Un Im Pa Paut, U Kabub Ama Shakaskun. Nukador Kawan Kawun Kalau Pafaf Nuk Ragub the Kau Papa Ut Talama Ragabni Kawan Bake the Kau Papa Ut Anuki Yabad Bin Afasni Papa Ut Kawan Anuki Papa Ut Kador Nuk Kador Papa Ut Amu Nuk Amu Tabukum And now the proclamation. Li kum nuwapu, nuwapians. Look at those who cheat and speak untruths, yet they still claim to be one of us, one of our loyal populace. We true nuwapu, nuwapians, have these proclamations. One, do not tread in the path of the wild evil on his highway of lawlessness. Two, do not lie about Wu Nuwapu by rejecting Pa Manzal Nathar Amun Nabab Re'e Akak Pata Zeti. Three, do not lie misusing our creed of truth Hakak by ignoring the facts. Four, do not lie and claim you are a true lover of truth unless you are practicing it. Five, do not lie and say you can be trusted and loyal to your true race, Nuwapu, Nuwapians, when you are not. Six, do not lie and say you are the peacemaker when you are indeed the source of arguments, fights, and gossip. Seven, do not lie and commit atrocities by rejecting ma'at, reconciliations when other Nuwapu Nuwapians wish to make up. Eight, do not lie and say you can be trusted while you sneak around violating all that you claim is best for our people. Nine, do not lie, deceive, cheat by acting and living in the image of this beast man of sin. If you undertake these responsibilities, let it be known by your actions. Patarak will be read by Kamemtet M. Hathar Atumre. Rahubat Yasar. Anuki Nasutet Kamemtet M. Hathar Atumre. Patarak tonight is Who is El Shaddai really? 1. Likum, know this. Al Shad, Al Shaddai, Shaddai. It is originally from Akkadian, from Sumerian to Phoenician. 2. Much has been done to try and hide who this was. Yet always look at the root of a name or word. There you will find what it means. It became Canaanite onto Hebrew and Arabic, but it was the Greeks and Romans who gave a misleading meaning from the original cuneiform. Three, also can be found in Egyptian hieroglyphics, Shad. Four, so you see these same letters in each language and ancient cultures, 
Even in English, you see shaded, shady. Now who was this? In the Arabic of the Muslim holy book, Al-Quran, it's yet not one of Allah's 99 best attributes. Why not? Quran chapter 2 verse 196 and is about sacrificing. Another name of Allah or Rab, as Shahid al Shadi. 5. Each gives their own meaning, avoiding what the Torah Bible says about him or the true meaning of this word. 6. So if you look in the Hebrew dictionary under Shad, S H D, you will find demon and or devil as you read in the Bible, the Hebrew Torah. In the book Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 17, they sacrificed unto devils. The Hebrew Strong's number 7700 is shed under lexical aids to the Old Testament. It reads shed. This masculine noun comes from the Hebrew Strong's number 7736, should, should, to swell up, to devastate, waste. It means a wicked demon, an idol, a lord, such as Baal. The word appears only twice in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 17 and Psalms 106 verse 37. First, I will put Deuteronomy 32, 17. They sacrificed unto devils, shed. Hebrew Strong's number 7700, not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Now Psalms 106 verse 37 to 38. Verse 37. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. Shed. Hebrew Strong's number 7700. Verse 38. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. 7. Now you are reading the words you see for yourself, the same root letter, S-H-D. 8. Now let's read on in Torah book of Exodus chapter 6, verse 2 to 3. Verse 2. And God, Hebrew Strong's number 430, Elohim, God's, spake unto Moses, Musa, and said unto him, I am the Lord. Hebrew Strong's number 3068, Yahweh. 3. And I appeared unto Abraham, Ibrahim, and Isaac, Ishak, and unto Jacob, Yaqub, by the name of Hebrew Strong's number 410, L. Hebrew Strong's number 7706, Shadeh. But my name, Hebrew Strong's number 3068, Yahweh, living being, was I not known to them. 4. As you can plainly see, the name he used in Hebrew Strong's number 7706, Shadai, Shaddai, the exact same word as found under its root, Hebrew Strong's number 7700, Shed. As you read in Deuteronomy 32, verse 17, and Psalms 106, verse 37, devils, demons, to whom the house of Israel, or Hebrew, offered sacrifices to, even their own children too. As Leviticus chapter 17, verse 7 says, verse 7, and they shall no more offer their sacrifices unto devils. Hebrew Strong's number 8163. Satar, Pan, half goat, half man, mountain animal. 9. The same name is found in the Muslims' Quran. As you know, they often replace dots over letters like Ishma'et to Ishmael, the SH 
to S. So you see the same name in Quran chapter 53 verse 49. And it reads, And surely he, Allah, he is master, Lord of the Cyrus star constellation. 10. They will try to mistranslate it to many things in each translation because, like Shaddai, they don't really know what it means or they seek to deceive you with mistranslation in each Quran. Some say mighty star, others say Cyrus star system, other zodiac. They did not ask the Kohen or Israelite priest its true meaning as their Quran's commands. Then Quran chapter 10 verse 94. They are told if they don't understand something in Quran, ask those who received books before Quran. 11. But Muslims will not ask Jews or Christians, and most don't know the original Arabic of Quran, so they don't even know they are worshipping the devil. 12. The name does not matter, be it Allah or Rab or El, or Yahweh or Jah or God or Dios. They go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, even Quran chapter 2 verse 136. 13. And you read Yahweh, who is Rab, in Quran, and El, who is Allah, in Quran, is the same as El Shaddai, in Exodus chapter 6, verse 2 to 3. 14. Who you see in Deuteronomy 32, verse 17, and Psalms 106, verse 37, was a demon, devil, they offered even humans too in sacrifice. As you read in Leviticus chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Animals and humans, their demon god ate flesh. Genesis 18 verses 1 to 8. Read, he and angels ate flesh, repeated in Quran chapter 51 verses 24 to 30. Yet Muslims tried to change the complete story to neglecting the part about, quote, and they did eat, unquote, deception. 15. So by the time the name Al Shaddai got to the Christian, Greeks, and Romans, they gave a new meaning. 16. Al Shaddai or Al Shaddai or As Shaid, according to the literary source of the Pentateuch, that is Greek, penta means five, and teoch means book. It means the first five books of the Judaic Christian Muslims Bible. Jews call it the Torah, law. 1. Genesis chapters 1 to 50. 2. Exodus chapters 1 to 40. 3. Leviticus chapters 1 to 27. 4. Numbers chapter 1 to 36. 5. Deuteronomy chapters 1 to 34. 17. The thinkers called critics call the priestly document a being called Yahweh, a term meaning a live or living being, a term used by many of the Elohim ones who judge or powerful ones. Well, one name, Yahweh, Jah, in short, appeared to a Chaldean, a Persian man named Ibru-um, later Abraham, changed to Abraham, then Ibrahim, and to his son Isaac, or Ishak, and his son Jacob, or Yaqub, as El Shaddai, El Shaddai, or Arabic, as Shaid, El Shad. As you read in the second of the first five books of the Pentateuch, Torah of the Israelite Hebrews, Old Testament, book of Exodus, chapter 6, verse 2 to 3. Verse 2, And Elohim spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Yahweh. Verse 3, And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of El Shaddai. But by my name, Yahweh, was I not known to them. 18. 
The traditional English rendering of the obscure Hebrew term Al Shaddai was mistranslated as God Almighty. 19. That was done with the translation of the Septuagint, that is Hebrew town, Latin Septuaginta 70, because it was done in only 70 days and translated into Greek also from Hebrew of the Torah and other books of the Old and New Testament. 20. And in it, the Latin and Greek rendered Shaddai as Pantokratok, all-powerful. Then after that came the Vulgate from Latin, Vulgata, meaning everyday Latin of the Romans done for the Roman Catholic Church. It became Omnipotence, omnipotent. 21. So their mistranslations or rendering of the word attribute name was given new meaning. 22. They claim from the Jewish rabbinic interpretation sha, meaning who, and die, meaning enough, or he who is self sufficient. Deception by all of these Caucasu. Caucasoid, Ka'anu, Canaanites. 23. They even translated Shaddai by Greek, Hekanos, meaning sufficient, even able. 24. These were all lies to hide who the Ka'anu, Canaanites, and the Hebrews who lived and mixed with them worshipped. 25. Demons, Latin, De demon, a devil, evil spirit, cruel demonic forces who seek dominion over all. 26. None of their translations or renderings of the letter SHD is etymology true. 27. The trace it back to Akkadian, Akkadian or Persian Sumerian, meaning mountain. Shadu. He who dwells in the rocks, hills, mountains as a goat. 28. So it's mistranslated in Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4. He is the rock. And in Deuteronomy verses 30 and 37 as they attempt to overlook verse 17 where most Bibles put devils. Hebrew Strong's number 7700. Demon, devil, shed, shed. And you just look at Hebrew Strong's number 7706. Shady, shade. The letter R is a vowel, so it is the exact same word. Demon, devil, who dwells up in the rocks, mountains, as a goat man, satyr, the behemoth, Satan. Shaitan, devil. Yes, they have our people worshiping the beast as God, Lord, Allah, Rab, Yahweh, Jah. And it's right in the Bible and Quran. But the game is spelling of words or the spell of ignorance of the languages of the books they teach our people from, who never understand the original Hebrew, Greek, or Arabic. So they are taught, just have faith in the unseen spirit of above. Never explained above where spirit, who, what. Just have faith, believe, don't question too much. Read what they translate for you. And if you study their language, no matter how long, you will always think in your first town. They just replace sounds to meanings. Allah equals God. Yahweh equals Lord, Rab equals Lord, and El equals God. 29. And what is most wrong is our people have accepted the lies of Abrahamism. 1. Mosesism. 2. Jesusism. 3. Mohammedism. In many forms for so long, I went out to teach these doctrines with their own added meanings preached to so many so long as the only true was our religion. Now that this actual fact has come, 
They don't wish to look wrong for so long, so they reject facts for faith. 30. They now become the coverers of the truth as they try to ignore all facts. 31. When you ask, do you speak the original tongue of the book you follow, be it 1, Torah, Old Testament, 2, Gospel, New Testament, 3, Quran, Last Testament, of Abraham's religion given to him by al Shade, ha Shad, the demon, they will have to say no, they don't. So they hold only translations and base their life on opinions of others who, as you just read, mistranslate those books, lost the originals or destroyed them, depended on man's opinions of what they claim was remembered and passed down over many years. That is a spell of ignorance. 32. So now, after being right so long, they can't go back to all they preach to say I'm wrong. I did not understand the original language of this book or religion. I depended on men's opinions as they translated. I trusted them, believed them, had faith in their opinions. I was wrong, misguided, but ego blocks them doing this so they become covers of the actual facts. 33. So this El of the mountain is the God by many new names. This El Shade, Ash Shaid, is the being and beings who came to Abraham in Genesis chapter 18 verses 1 to 8 and ate flesh. His God and two angels ate flesh, verse 8. And he took butter, milk, and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them. 1. Abram, Abraham. 2. Yahweh, Lord. 3. 2. Malak, angels. And he stood by them under the tree, and they, Yahweh and Malakim, did eat. 34. So the Lord God, Yahweh, Elohim, Rab, Allah, ate flesh. 35. And taught his priests the Levites to do the same many places in the Bible. Leviticus chapter 2 verse 1, meat. Chapter 2 verse 4, baked in the oven with cakes. Chapter 2 verse 5, baked in a pan with oil. Chapter 2 verse 7, the frying pan. Chapter 2 verse 9, a sweet savor, smells good. Chapter 2, verse 13, put season of salt. Chapter 2, verse 14, also corn. Chapter 3, verse 11, it is the food. Chapter 3, verse 16, sweet savor, the fat is the Lord's. Chapter, seven, chapter 3, verse 17, you eat neither fat nor blood. But then, chapter 6, 16 to 18 Levites are to eat meat offerings chapter 6 verses 26 to 29 also chapter 7 verses 16 to 18 and to this very day Jews Christians and Muslims still sacrifice slaughter animals they still eat all kinds of flesh and blood kill animals in religious rites to their Al Shaddai or Ash Shaid, the God they worship but will give all kinds of reasons because they're under a spell and have forgotten the real reason. They are forgetful beings, have a form of amnesia, lost of the past. Why? Who? Just be abd or slaves. The Lord is their shepherd. They are sheep and goats. They ate their own as well, right in their book. 36. Yes, Hebrews, Israelites ate humans, even their own children. 2 Kings chapter 27 to 29. And leave Leviticus 26 to 29. Deuteronomy 28 verse 53. And 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 29. And Lamentations chapter 4, verse 10. And Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 10. 
So you read it, you see it. The seed of Abraham on the side of Enlil and son Nanar were flesh eaters and passed it on to those they made a deal or covenant with to offer flesh and blood to them for protection. They gave them marks, signs of blood or red cross, now red crescent. And this meant pass by them, don't kill or eat them. Who is this God, gods they worship by many new names, Al Shaddai or Ash Shaid, extraterrestrials from above who came to earth called Anunnaki or Anakim. They gave them their ways starting with lies, Genesis chapter 2 verse 17. They ate, did not die that day. Killing, Genesis chapter 4 verse 8. Anger, jealousy, murder, hate. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Enmity, hate between seeds. That is the God of their religions from Mesopotamia, not our own, not for us. We are Africans, not Mesopotamians or Arabs. We only got Abraham in our blood by mixing of Abraham with an African-Egyptian woman, Hagar, who birthed a mixed Chaldean, Persian, and Egyptian African son, Ishmael, to Kedar, who mixed with Africans and spread Mesopotamian, Jerusalem, Arabian religion into Africa. Now have us African killing Africans over their religions and Bible and Quran. Their books, not ours. And you will find Al Shade in the Bible in its full name in Revelations to Abraham. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1. You find it in Baal in Numbers chapter 24 verses 4 and verses 16. Balaam in Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 6, Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 24, Joel chapter 1 verse 15, Psalms chapter 68 verse 15 and verse 19. Also mixed in names, Numbers chapter 1 verse 12 and Numbers chapter 1 verse 6. So they seek to deceive you as to who they really have you worshiping. Tammuz, Ezekiel chapter 8 verses 9 to 14. He is the one who took the Sumerian tablets and created the Bible from them. He is still respected in the Jewish calendar today as one of their holy months of both sides of Anu's family. Enkiites, Dengir, Seraphim, Melek and Enlilites, Egigi, Cherubim, Moloch. Tabukum. I am who I am will be read by Sabaktat Nefru Ankh. Rahubat Yasab Anuki Sabaktat Nefruank. I am who I am. One, I have been with you because I love you all. Two, I am Zedi, Zetwi, Zedi, Pamanzal Nazdar Amun Nabab Rehe Akak Pata, Zedi. Three, I will soon depart from you. Four, I incarnate from time to time to renew our timeline. 5. I am here, which is there, now. 6. My time to depart is near, so I only wish you knew who I was to you. 7. I will return again and again. Look for me in the wind. Look for me in the waters. Look for me in the soil. Look for me in your dreams. 8. I will reincarnate again when needed. 
Nine. This is my findings. One. They look at me, yet they don't see the real me. Two. They listen to me, yet they don't hear what I am really saying. Three. They have touched me, and still they were not able to feel me. Four. They have kissed me, yet they did not love me. Five. They were born of my genes, yet they are not my child. Six. They followed me, yet not close enough. Seven. They came to me, yet they did not stay. Eight. They smiled with me, yet they did not mean it. Nine, they greeted me, yet and still never meant it. Tawakum. Tawakum, yes sir. Please stay in tune every shadow at 8 p.m. for another Patarak reading and at 9 a.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. for the chanting with the Supreme Grand Council of 24 Elders. Wadao Yasar.